speak with Mr. Phillips. Oh, boy, ain't this swell. A murder and dancing the same night. Hello, Ken. What do you mean? Yes, dear. I haven't told you who I am yet. Well, it's me. And uh, don't ask questions. Hurry right over to the Conga Club. There's somebody I want you to meet. Yes, a friend of mine. He's very clever. Oh. I, I, I tell you, he's wonderful. He'll kill you. Understand? He'll simply kill you. And when you come, bring along some COPS. Yes, COPS. Goodbye. <laughs> what did you tell him? Well, I just asked him to bring along some gendarme. Oh, he don't have to bring nothing. The drinks is on us. We can leave the car here. Come on. Oh, wait. Wait till I load this gun. Oh, no, you can't shoot him. I can dream, can't I? I mean, now that we're taking over the mob, we have responsibilities. We have to be more and more dignified. You trust me, don't you? Well, it ain't that. It's just that, well, Sadie, I love you. You? Oh, but, Roderick, you don't know anything about me. We haven't even met until you, you took a shot at me. Yeah, I know. I know I'm being impetuous, but I want to marry you for a while. No, Roderick. <laughs> Oh, no, Roderick, we must put our personal feelings behind us. There's work to be done. Now, now, you leave your gun here in the car. I'll give him an overdose of these sleeping tablets, and that'll be all over. No fuss, no worries. No, sir. I love you, and I want to marry you. And I always said when I got married, I didn't want the little woman working. But, Roderick, you can't ask me to give up my career. Well, oh, all right, but, but I got a bottle of rat poison here in the car. I'll bring it along just in case. He should have been here a half hour ago. I don't know what can be keeping him. Some people just got no consideration, that's all. Uh, Sadie, I still think you ought to let Oh, here he comes huh? now. Dorothy, will you please explain the meaning of this? Why did you call me up oh, and insist... Oh, Ken, I want you to meet Roderick. He's the one I was telling you about. Uh, sit down, buddy. Have a drink. Give it to him, Sadie. Roderick's been waiting to get together with you for several days. He's always missed you. Get it? He's missed you four times. Have a drink, buddy. We got one all ready for you. Give it to him, Sadie. Sadie? Who said he? What is this? Why did you say over the telephone? Go on, I... go on. Have a drink, buddy. Yeah, thanks. I need one. Ah, that's better. Now, Dorothy, for the last time, what is the meaning of... of... Oh. Ken! Ken, what's the matter, darling? Oh. Ken, dear, what happened? Tell me what happened. Well, that's over. Let's dance. Well, I didn't put anything in his drink. I know. When you was taking so long, I went ahead and poured some rat poison in his glass. You what? Ken, it's all my fault. Huh? I was trying to save your life, and I've killed you. I'll get you to the hospital. Help, help! What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, don't stand there, you fool! Help, help! Help, help, help! Hey, what help. is it? What is it? A stomach pump! Get a stomach pump! You heard her? Get a stomach pump! I'm Mr. Phillips' new bodyguard, ma'am. What happened? You tell him, Broderick. Hurry up. Tell him. We poisoned the guy. Yes, he's been trying to shoot him all week, but... But, gee, I got him with rat poison. We have to get him to a hospital and arrest that man. Arrest him quick! Quick! You heard what she said. Arrest me. 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 No, 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 Sadie. What are we doing? Lock him up. He's a killer for murder unlimited. Okay, take him away, boys. Ken. Drink. Give me a drink. Oh, of course, darling. Here you are. Drink it down. <coughs> Ken. Ken. Jeepers, I've done it again. <laughs> And darling, you're going to be all right. The nurse said it's just like a bad stomachache. Oh, to think I'd come to this drinking rat poison. Well, darling, it's no worse than a lot of other stuff you drink. Ken, Ken, can you sit up? I, I want you to see the paper. Paper? Yes, we scooped the town. Broderick confessed last night and they caught the whole gang. Look, look, here's a picture of them on the front page with me pointing my finger at them. Oh, I love reporting crimes. From now on, I'm going to specialize in murder. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm from headquarters. Is this your picture here on the front page of the paper? Yes, yes, that's me. I thought I recognized you. What is it, another murder? Yeah, a murder. I've been looking for you ever since you escaped last week. Escape? Come on, Sadie. Do you mean you... You're under arrest. Oh, but I'm not, Sadie. Ken, tell him who I am. You, you tell you him. You tell him. What's the matter with him? 
nothing. I've just been poisoned. But poisoned? I... At it again, uh, Sadie. Now, come along quietly, or I'll... Ken, do okay. something. He thinks I'm Sadie. They'll put me in jail. They may even hang me. Well, well don't just lie there grinning. No, no, don't worry, darling. I'll drop by one of these days and catch you out. Why, you... After I'm sure you're fed up with murder. Come on, Sadie, get going. And I'll bring the minister when I come. Bye-bye, dear. All right. All right. Don't tell him who I am. Let him think I'm Sadie. Let him think I'm the poison queen. But I'm warning you, Ken Phillips, when we get married and when we have our champagne supper... I wouldn't drink anything if I were you, brother. But Carol Lambert will be back in just a moment for a curtain call, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Silver Theater's good news for next week is the personal appearance of another favorite of yours. Jeffrey Lynn, who'll be starring in a stirring and dramatic romance of modern times, The Magic Darkness. Be sure to be with us for Jeffrey Lynn. And here once again is today's star, Carol Lombard. <laughs> Carol, you certainly pack lots of fun and excitement into half an hour. Oh, oh, it's always fun on the Silver Theater, Conrad. I feel almost as much at home here as I do in my own house. Uh, you know, the last time you were here, you were just redecorating your house. It all completed? Oh, no. Remember the old saying, Conrad? A woman's work is never done. Hmm. But, but seriously, I think uh, the house looks grand. Come over and see it. See our 1847 Rogers Brothers silver plate, too. It's really perfect. I'll be there, Cal. You must come back and visit us here in Silver Theater soon, will you? Thank you. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cal. Thanks again. <laughs> Well, good friends, this is Conrad Nagel bidding you all good evening, and thank you. See you next Sunday with Jeffrey Lynn.